So this is the unboxing of the Super Talk Barbie from 1994. Uh, I don't know if you guys have already watched the video on Teen Dog Barbie from 1992. Uh, when I get around to doing the demo, it will be both of these dolls at the same time, which is coming up in the next couple weeks. So I figured we'll go ahead and unbox this doll right now. She's pretty dinged up. Uh, I thought she was going to be in good condition. Also, if you hear the boys getting really rowdy, um, right now they are playing games and streaming them. So that's going on. And plus I have the fan going. And I am excited to unbox her. So she says, I say over one th like 100,000 things. I highly doubt it. I probably 10 to 20 things. Um, lots to say for endless ways to play. And there is a button, so I'm kind of scared that she still has the batteries in her. So there's no guarantee on that. I got really, really lucky with the other one that she did not have her batteries in her pack. And fun fact, this little show down here, this Epcot show, you can watch this on YouTube actually. It's really like, if you're into like weird, kitschy 90s like things, like go and watch that video. It's called Barbie's World or, it was a 94 Epcot Barbie extravaganza. So it was pretty cool. So I think there was only um, the African American Barbie and this Barbie in this collection so I'm kind of yeah I know I should probably not open her but she is pretty pretty dinged so pretty dinged up I still have the box to the other Barbie as well so I'll probably have those in the background okay so there's nothing in the box it's just the box okay so okay there's actually really, really old discolored tape. So, battery pack. Okay, so she takes four batteries instead of three. She might not work anymore. She's a lot cleaner than the other one. And then she had a one year limited warranty. Uh, wow, her tape is really like worn out. Okay, so she's got, um, they're probably leg warmers and not socks. And then she's got a brush. And for some reason, her shoes were twist-tied in there, but you can still pop them out. So she's got gold boots, typical 90s Barbie boots. She's really pretty. I'm just really scared that she's got to explode because, like, she's not going to talk. She, of course, does not talk. And I'm trying to make sure that all of this is in the camera. I had to definitely zoom out for this. Um, I'm kind of kind of nervous how this will go because the other one was older, but I've come to realize that sometimes the slightly old, like newer compared to this because that was 92. This is this is 94. You know, sometimes it just depends like how they were treated and stuff like this. This came out of I think a comic shop or something. I don't know. I bought it for my mom. Ew. That's very disappointing. There's some debris stuck to the tape. Okay. Okay. Her crimped hair is making me think of how bad I really, really want a uh, Bubble Angel Barbie. It was one of the first Barbies my grandmother ever got me for Christmas. Okay. So, she is really cute. Um the fake leather jemmy like looking gold stuff really reminds me of like the jasmine dolls the mattel 90s jasmine dolls she's got bent arms that are kind of stiff to go down okay her legs are in really good condition and she actually does have underwear on which most barbies didn't so we're gonna open her little bag i'm not gonna pull out the brush there's no need for that we've all seen the typical barbie brush yeah they're definitely leg warmers there are holes all the way through it's just to give it the scrunch effect and guys if you're wondering if i'm going anywhere like i'm not doing videos it's literally been my eye. My eye has, um, the allergy season has gotten to my eye. 
and stuff like that and I had to take a break I, I needed it or needed a bad I spent most of my time just trying to rest up and stuff and watching lots and lots of Marvel movies so there she is just like the box she has this cute little hat with an anchor and jewels on it it's kind of like a you know fresh I, I call it the fresh prince uh, baseball cap because it's like a turned up bill and from the from the front it looks like a pirate hat though um, she's got gold hoops um, really nice crimped hair she has purple and blue eyes purple eyeshadow and pink lips uh, lighter lighter blonde eyebrows her jacket has seashells and lots of gems on her, different colored gems and uh, not studs but they're like shiny stud style and like I said there's that and then the same thing with the things and then she's got like a it's a tank top okay it's a white tank top and her underwear is the same it's just white underwear and then she's got like this I don't know if it's lame or what but like she's got this lace over with like gold lace and then like this material right here and then with denim like you saw the shoes and stuff she's pretty basic compared to the other one the other one came with so much other stuff um my concern right now is actually making sure her battery compartment is not damaged so we are going to open and luckily um from what i can see the jacket was made so that you can press the button and oh it's not underwear it's a bodysuit wow that they thought about everything didn't they so I can unscrew oh and by the way she has a gold ring on her finger as well so she has a compartment right here and I have a little bitty screwdriver it's pretty much Barbie size hey that's pretty cool um, so we're gonna learn about this together and I am not I am definitely right-handed, but I'm gonna do this. Okay, it's a little, it was a little tough. I'm not left-handed at all. I'm just doing this because I've gotta hold the doll still. Oh no, I'm very, it's either, it's either screwed down pretty hard or she's stuck. Oh, yeah, um, that's not good. There, there's Velcro for something. Yeah, she's, she probably does not work anymore. That is stuck. What? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I did only pay $10 for her. Um, to be fair, I don't know, you know, it could have been any year that it, did that but you know what um, they don't look too dirty in there I could probably clean it out a little bit and it, she might still work it's not like she's a gem doll from the the mid 80s she might still be salvageable but we will see more likely that the earlier model uh, this is also not the one that says math class is tough this is the one came out later on to I guess rectify that mistake the other one I have is the one from the series that one of them said math class is tough but there's no guarantee that the one I got says that but we will we will discover that at a later time so I'm just going ahead and taking her batteries out and screwing her screw back in okay well that's kind of sad and kind of sucks but I hope you guys at least enjoyed this um, I hope you guys look forward to a demo to see if this one works and the other one works or one or the other works. Or maybe both. Who knows? Um, we might get lucky. She's going to go next to the other one, which is actually on the shelf over here, but you can't see her right now. Maybe I should have brought her out, but that would have just kind of seemed like I was demoing them both. So we're going to we're gonna wait and do that another time. Um... But I still really like her. Um, the crimped hair is great. So far, the Barbies I have that are in the box, none of them have crimped hair. And it's nice to see it again. I'm considering buying a crimper um, when I get the chance to. Because I've heard Amazon has some really good crimpers for like 20 bucks. So, there's that. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know it was a little, a little sad. The battery kind of like that kind of sucked, but you know that's how the story goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. I'm Kristen. Bye.